Well, not sure what else I can do at this point. The die has been cast. The bones have been thrown. Tea leaves are whatever you do with tea leaves. They're just in there. All right. So the numbers are going to start rolling in pretty soon from across the country. And so far, I'm not seeing my name on anything. But no regrets. This campaign had a lot to it. A lot of levels to it. Some of it was tongue-in-cheek. Some of it was parody. Some of it was historical analysis. Some of it was to kind of teach my kids a little bit about democracy. And the juggernaut that... Uh, juggernauts, I should say. That seemingly run the political landscape in this country. And... Yet, with a few forms, a few submitted documents, the average person can actually have their vote count, their vote heard, towards somebody that isn't part of the two, well, party system. So, no matter who wins, my only hope is that the law of unintended consequences does not come crashing down upon us. There's a reason why I mentioned that specifically and some of the points for some of the departments that I would create. If I had, by some chance, won, pres won the presidency, got the votes, and didn't somehow um, accidentally die in an accident shortly after if the court challenges fell through. So, here's my question to you. And in the next couple of days, I'll have a, a little bit more analysis. What are you going to do next? If your person wins, then what? If your person doesn't win, then what? My person of choice is probably not going to win, and that's me. Because I did pick the candidate that I know the best. I wasn't kidding about that. I don't feel my vote was thrown away. I don't feel that when you write in somebody that you want, how does that throw away the vote? Whether that person has a chance to win or not, you are voicing your honest opinion as opposed to walking lockstep with what you're quote-unquote supposed to do. So, I wish us all luck. I wish us all the best of success for the next four years. I would also like to formally announce my running in the 2020 presidential election. Hindsight is 2020, my friends. Learn from what you did this time. Learn how you can correct those mistakes. And vote Sam Gurditch, 2020. Who, in hindsight, was the better choice. Good night, for now.